from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, hope you had a nice day so far to kick off your weekend. Of course, out there in western Trinity County by Hay Fork down to Ruth, you probably saw some pretty thick smoke from the hill fire. Rest of us here through the area, pretty much clear, maybe some upper level haze from other fires. But we'll be back down in the upper 50s, lower 60s across the area. We'll call it lower to mid 70s here in the valley as we head through tonight and into the early hours of tomorrow morning. But all in all, I think this weekend looks pretty much fine in terms of temperatures. It's just going to be very hot, right? We had those uh, heat advisories, especially out towards eastern Siskiyou County, Modoc County to uh, through 11 o'clock this evening, right? It's going to stay hot. And then, of course, as we head through tomorrow, well, to be honest with you, I do think we're going to be kind of windy out there and relatively dry. So I do think there might be some exacerbating fire conditions out here in western Trinity County, out towards western Siskiyou County, maybe over even into Modoc County as well, over towards Weaverville, Humboldt County as well. I think the chance becomes a little bit lower. So it's a pretty sharp cutoff, but still, we have some stuff to think about out there towards western mountains and out towards the Trinity Alps, right? So, you know, it's fire season. You know how it goes. I don't need to baby you. Just, you know, be responsible, right? Don't start another one of these fires. So let's see what we have in store here over the next several days, because I do think there are changes in the forecast as we head into the work week. I was talking about monsoon moisture a couple days ago, and we were talking about the weekend, but I think the timing has changed, right? I don't think we're going to be seeing any of that over the next couple of days. Notice as we head through Tuesday. So here we are with the future cast on Tuesday. You start to see some blips out by the 395 corridor, Eastern Mountains, Modoc County. Now, you don't want to take the placement exactly for what it is, right? I'm not saying it will be raining exactly here Tuesday at 5, but this does show you the general trend that out towards Modoc County, out towards the Eastern Mountains, down to Lassen County, really east of I-5, down the 395 corridor by the state line, you do have the chance of maybe one or two thunderheads popping up as we head through Tuesday as some of that monsoon moisture kind of takes hold. But to be honest with you, zooming out into the big picture through the rest of the week, really a whole lot of nothing. I think the marine boundary layer is going to be pretty active, so we stay kind of thick and cloudy there along the coast. But I really don't think besides that there's much in the way of rain chances, pretty much at all, to be quite honest with you there. I think there are signs, though, I was talking about this at 12, that the temperatures are trending downwards as we head through the end of the week and into next week. And in fact, notice that heat, it's really all pushing off to the east. For once, we're not over here in that red. We're not in that orange either. We're going to be right around where we should be, if not a touch below average, if these trends continue. Don't want to give you too anything uh affirmative yet. I can't give you any too much of the way of specifics, right? But as we head into that time frame, we're talking the end of July here. So the next seven to 10 days, the trend is downwards just a little bit. I want you to pay more attention to trends than exact numbers right now, because we're still talking six, seven, eight days away, but just know it's there. So we're going to get a little hotter before we get cooler, but I do think we will get cooler. Now, like I said, still a little bit hazy, if not downright smoky at times out there in eastern Humboldt County, western Trinity County, working on that hill fire very diligently. But notice as we head into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah, we got those triple digits coming back. But look, you see that trend downwards? Because I certainly do. And like I said, don't pay attention to specific numbers right now. Just know the signs are there for that trend, that staircase climb down for those temperatures. Mount Shasta City, Modoc County, Alturas County, over into the Eastern Mountains. Again, you can see the chance, the chance of maybe some monsoon moisture creeping out out there. It's not a high chance, but it is there, so we're going to watch that. And then notice those trends downwards, a good 10 degrees as we head through Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So there is some promising, knock on wood, promising signs that that heat might be creeping out of here, at least temporarily in that time frame. Let's take a look at Reading. You can see that trend as well, 105 to 109 over the next several days. But by the end of the week towards next weekend, I think we shake a good few degrees off the forecast. So if you're sick and tired of the heat like I am, I'll be totally honest, I certainly am. Well, hey, there's some good news for you coming up on the horizon. Thanks for joining me for this forecast update. Of course, I will be back with you all day tomorrow for more fresh from the Weather NorCal Command Center, and I'll speak to you then.